Today what we're going to do is we're going to go over span and I'm going to go over how to hold it and the full motion of the shot. And I teach A to the rail, B to the middle, C across. If I'm shooting left handed it's A to this rail, B to the, B to the middle, C across. And we're going to start off with the B shot because the B shot is the one that pretty much determines the mechanics for all the other shots. Okay, the B shot you're going to place these two brakes on the 90 degree angle and you're going to take your thumb knuckle can you see that and see how it's divoted like this just like the weight tops divoted you put your thumb right inside of it and you're going to apply a little pressure down on the weight so it's stable you don't want your thumb coming close that when your thumb comes close you have a slingshot effect on the weight where <clears throat> when you shoot the actual weight of the puck slingshots forward and it has an effect on the shot and it becomes inconsistent so you don't you want to leave your thumb open as far as possible and then you want to apply a little pressure down on the weight okay the first thing you want to do is you want to see what is the board doing this is mainly a stick shot it's not really used for power because you have so many parts of your body that are moving to control your wrist your thumb the release off the weight your elbow your shoulder your body that's five different things you can mess up. So you really have to pay attention to the shot and keeping these parts of your body locked. So what I do, we're going to go right to the middle, push down a little bit, got my grip set, and I'm not going to break my wrist for the B shot at all. I'm just going to see what the board's doing. Just push it straight and see where it goes. It's right to the middle. Now, the reason span shot is one of the best stick shots there is in the game is because just look, for instance, that shot to the middle, if I was going to shoot jersey off the rail, I'm coming from the highest concave side of the board, so I'm going to have to shoot with a little bit more speed to uh, compensate for the break of the rail to the weight. When you're shooting that span shot, you can slow it down a lot more because you're playing a way flatter part of the board. The slower you can shoot at the weight, the higher percentage goes up for sticking it. The faster you have to shoot it, the lower the percentage goes down. Okay, so we shot the B shot. It goes right to the middle. Once again, you're just going to apply a little pressure down. And it's almost like you're telling somebody to stop and stay back. And you're going to come straight down to the weight, apply a little pressure, and you're just going to go straight forward and see what the board does. It goes right to the middle. Okay, now that we know what the middle does, we're going to go to the C shot, and that's a cross. What you're, wanting, what you're going to want to do differently here is, is actually going to want to make a 90 degree angle with your index finger and your thumb and what you're doing is you're going to your B shot and you're shooting off this knuckle on your middle finger and it's not cupped no span shots cupped because you don't want any resistance you want to, the fluidity of the shot just smooth so it's just a guided shot up a rail all the shot is is a guided freehand okay so we're going to go across you're going to want to take your thumb point it, just make a 90 degree angle with your thumb and your index finger. When you get to the B grip, you're going to release. And it's naturally going to push the weight across the board. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to get my shot ready. I got my mechanics right. Pushing down a little bit, going right to the B shot. It goes right to that weight. Okay. We're going to go to A and we're going to go off your index finger. And what you want to do is, is, at the end of your stroke, what I like to do, there's two ways you can shoot this. I like to make sure my thumb's pointed straight at the end of my release, not pulling it back straight because then you won't have any kind of movement to the rail. And what I like to do is, is when I come back, I open it up. And when I open it up, as long as I make sure my thumb is pointed straight, it's naturally going to push it into the rail. Okay. This is what the actual shot looks now. Applying a little pressure down. Got the end of my stroke right. I'm just going to come back, go forward, and push it right into the rail. Make sure my thumb was pointed right straight and went right to that weight. 
Now, if this went to the middle and this is C, went all the way across, all you're going to do is split the difference. I'm going to go in between the rail and the numbers where that red weight is. So if this is B, this is C, I'm going to go and cut the difference and I'm going to let go when I get to the B shot again. So it's just very little movement. Right to it. Okay, now put one in between A and B. So if this is A and this is this is B, all I'm gonna do is split the difference in between. Now what you gotta figure out is if you like shooting it off your index finger or your middle finger. The difference is is when the further out your span is, the more you have to control to the rail, and that's bad. So I always go off my index finger because it's less I have to control to the rail. So I'm not going to let my thumb get all the way straight like this when I release it. I'm going to only let it come to about right here and just barely pitch into the rail. So I'm coming back, going forward, just barely pitch into the rail. It should go right to that red weight. And that's pretty much the mechanics of span shot. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, feel free to check the instructor's corner for these videos and anything else we can help you with. Just feel free to ask. Thank <laughs> you.